Okay, this one is for Weasel. Your Galaxy DX2547 is done. Going to package it up and get it out before the weekend. So I wanted to do a, a quick thing. Um, people were asking me if uh, you had to take out all the things you needed to take out of the radio to do the DDS VFO mod. And I said, no, it's, it's as I've said in other videos, it's just space making area to put the Arduino, things like that. So in this one, I thought I'd show you, and up comes a picture here of what we took out. And it's very little. Of course, the channel selector needs to come out because that's where the encoder goes. And the digit display and, you know, some things like that. Other than that, there's a few components in the PLL. The reason we do that, you could even leave the PLL in, but you'd have to, you'd have to pull the power from it and make sure that you're not getting any noise from it. Same thing with the uh, master oscillator, things like that. So you just want to make sure those are out. Now, this has 6.50 version, which is the one that does the scanning. And this has a really neat place to put the scanning, right here on the clarifier button. Even got an LED that comes up, okay? The button, not the control. Okay, so if you punch it, goes into group scan. Now remember, group scan is where you can scan a group of channels that you decide what you want to scan. So here we're scanning 6, 19, and 25, right? Oh, I got the squelch a little high. There we go. So it'll scan, and as you saw when the squelch opens, here we go again. Oh, we're on sideband too. Oh, wow, must have been screwing around on sideband. Um, as the squelch opens, you'll hear, and then when you're in this mode with that light on, right now, you'll be able to talk back. <laughs> and when you uh, and when you release, someone's talking to you. And when you're done with your conversation, a few seconds later, it'll start scanning again. And uh, we have a video on that earlier, so you can check that out. I'm not going to show you everything this does. Um, there you go. So anytime the squelch, now if you want to have a better signal when it's scanning, you just turn your squelch up a little farther and it's going to have to have a heavier signal. So we could do that. Let's say you don't want to hear that staticky of a signal. You can do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the other things we have here. We have HF receive in here, which is pretty cool. Sideband. Let's open a squelch up. Seventy-two fifty-three dot five. There's somebody talking there. So it's scanning, and you notice you're in sideband. So if you're waiting for somebody to call you on a certain frequency on sideband and you want to set your squelch up because they're real tight, well, go ahead and do that, and you can you can scan. If you want to go back down here to, to AM, you can scan there. Okay, when it sees that squelch open, it'll stop. <laughs> so anyway, Channel 6, Mother Nature, yay, everything's working. Okay, Weasel, I hope you like your radio. Um, we do have the direct inject. I think, yeah, you can't see it back there, but the quarter-inch jack. This is your direct inject. Nine, you just uh, key and throw a dead carrier. Normal is your front mic. And 19, of course, is your direct inject from the back quarter inch jack. Have fun with it.